Hola everyone, Aurora here. This is our third video for our Vamos Backpacking series in partnership with Mid Peninsula Regional Open Space District. And today we're talking about gear. I have a bunch of my gear laid out here and I'm going to review it with you all. As a first time backpacker, getting gear and thinking about gear can be very overwhelming. So taking some time to do some research, taking some time to rent gear or borrow gear before investing in it can be really helpful because then that allows you to see all the different products and materials and brands that are out there. So some of the gear that I have out here, I have my tent. This is a two person tent. It weighs around three pounds and 15 ounces. This is what it looks like when it's all set up. As you can see, it's pretty big in here. I usually go camping or backpacking with my partner and we both fit in here very comfortably. I've also used it in different conditions when it's been windy or when it's been moist and it's held up great. So then when it's all taken down, I put it back in this bag and it fits perfectly in my backpack. Another piece of equipment that I always have with me is my sleeping bag. Uh, so this is what it looks like when it's out of its little compression sack. And so I really like this sleeping bag because it gives me enough space. When I sleep at night, I move a lot, so it gives me enough space to move around a little bit. There are different sizes. There are some that are some mummy mermaid style, some that are more rectangular or square. So figuring out what fit works best for you. There are also different materials. This one is a synthetic insulated one. There are some down, some blends. And so again, there's pros and cons to everything. So just figuring out what works best for you. So I used to try to fold my sleeping bag super neatly and perfectly to fit in the sleeping bag but it, it never worked and so I had a friend actually show me how to stuff my sleeping bag in my pack and it's compressed really nicely and fits in my backpack perfectly when it's like this but when I'm not using it I just let it breathe and hang out on the side so to go with my sleeping bag I have my sleeping pad so for a long time I didn't even use sleeping pads I just you know slept on cold hard ground <laughs> and I thought that was totally the only option, but it's not. <laughs> so there are different types of sleeping pads that you can use. This one is very lightweight, accordion style. This layer gives me enough, give me, gives me enough of a cushion and gives me enough insulation to keep me warm. So I really love it. There are some that are inflatable. And so again, lots of different types. So I would definitely recommend to try out different products when you're thinking about your sleeping bag and your sleeping pad because you want to have a good night good night's rest when you're out in nature uh, you know and that's really important when you're out spending time especially if it's a lot of days you want to make sure that you're comfortable when you're trying to sleep at night i've had some of my best sleeps when i'm out in nature and i think i owe it all to my sleeping bag and my sleeping pad so in addition to that water thinking about how you're gonna carry your water, thinking about how you're gonna filter water. So I always carry my bladder in my backpack. This is a three liters. In addition to my bladder, I carry two 32 ounce water bottles. These can get a little heavy, but I like the extra weight because that just means that they stay cooler and that's really important for me. Um, there are also different water filtration systems that one can take with them. I usually take a straw. Uh, this works great for a person individually. It might be a little harder for a bigger group. So there are also tablets that you can use. Uh, this is great for larger amounts of water uh, and for bigger groups. And so you just throw in a tablet, you shake it, let it sit for 35 minutes, and then that water is drinkable. So again, at Black Mountain, we know that there are non-potable water there. So taking those filtration systems are really important. You can boil the water before use or use one of these tablets and then drink that water. Other items that I have with me are an emergency kit, a first aid kit. This is ultra light. So making sure you know what's actually in your kit is really important. Uh, if there's something that's missing in there, adding it in there. I know that this kit doesn't have a tick key. So I also put one in there just because I know that there are ticks out there. So just knowing what's the site that you're going to and knowing some of the things that you might be exposed to is good information to have so that you can better prepare and plan your emergency kits. I also want to make sure that when I'm out there, I am having fun and I'm having a good time. 
So what I like to take with me are games. <laughs> I know that not a lot of people will pack games when they're going backpacking, but I think it's super fun and important. Even if it's just a deck of cards or a loteria game, uh, it's really fun to be able to play games in community and, and have some good, have some fun, some fun and good times when you're out there. Uh, if you prefer to do some nature journaling or some art, taking colored pencils or notebooks with you or just a book to read, I think having that one thing, uh, it's not super heavy, can really make a big impact when you're out there. And then of course, my toiletries. <laughs> um, so what I usually pack in my toiletries include hand sanitizer, I have sunscreen in here, I have my floss, my chapstick, my toothpaste, and my toothbrush. Uh, then I also have a couple wipes in here as well. And so that's really all I need for, for backpacking, especially for one-nighters. I don't feel like I need to take many other things with me. Uh, I don't even pack a hairbrush, I don't even pack deodorant. You know, if we're a little stinky, it's totally okay. We're in nature, we're gonna get a little dirty. That's part of the game. Uh, but you know, just making sure you have what you need to make sure that you're clean and, and comfortable is really important. I also take a portable charger with me just to make sure that my, my battery on my phone doesn't die and I have a backup uh, charger uh, for my, in case I needed to charge my light as well. So this is a really cool light. It has that red light and I really like that option in a headlamp. Um, and again, this, this headlamp has a rechargeable battery in it. So not only do I take my portable charger for my phone, but also in case my battery runs out on my light. And then a of course, deciding what you're gonna wear for your backpacking uh, adventure. So, you know, I always stay repping Latino outdoors. So I take my Latino outdoors shirt with me, but I also take a long sleeve. Uh, again, just to protect myself from, from the sun or as an extra layer for the cold. I also wear my long pants that are breathable, but again, also are thick enough to help me protect myself from whether it's like thorny blackberry or whatever might be on the trail. Um, I also take an extra pair of socks so that I always, in case my feet get wet or whatever it might be, I have some clean socks. Uh, an extra jacket because in the Bay Area, you never know when the when the fog rolls in, it can get really cold very quickly. And then an extra pair of shorts. Um, I like to have this extra pair of shorts so that I can change into something clean when I go into my sleeping bag. Uh, but if I'm just hiking, I'll just keep wearing the same clothes. And again, totally fine if it's a little dirty or a little stinky. Uh, I, I don't feel the need to take extra, extra clothes because I know I'm going to end up wearing the same thing anyway. And that just lightens the load of my backpack. Um, of course, I'd also be wearing my hat, I'll be wearing a watch, and I'll be wearing my boots. So this is really important to think about. You want to wear boots or shoes that you are already wear all the time. You want to do this because it prevents blisters. Oftentimes people will buy new shoes and then go on a really long backpacking trip and you really do not want to do that <laughs> because that can cause blisters and the smallest blister can be the biggest, most annoying thing that happens to you on your trip. So you want to make sure that you wear shoes that you're comfortable in, some that have enough traction so that you're not slipping on the trail, and then extra pair of sandals or chanclas or whatever it is so that you can change into once you get to your campsite. Um, and so that's just some of the gear that goes into my backpack. I'll be reviewing some of the kitchen and food stuff tomorrow. So keep an eye out for our upcoming videos and then our upcoming backpacking trips. I hope that this was helpful to you and that I see you out there on the trails.